Yellowstone National Park, a place of stunning natural beauty and geological wonders, a wonderland of geysers, hot springs and abundant wildlife. It's a place where nature's raw power is on full display, but beneath this beauty lies a sleeping giant. The Yellowstone Supervolcano. The Yellowstone Supervolcano is a caldera, a massive crater formed by previous eruptions spanning miles across the park. The caldera stretches for miles beneath the park, a constant reminder of the immense forces at work beneath our feet, hidden from plain sight. While the geysers and hot springs are a testament to the heat still present, the volcano itself is considered dormant, not extinct. This geothermal activity is a window into the fiery depths below. This means that while it's not erupting now, it could erupt again in the future. Scientists keep a vigilant watch, monitoring any signs of activity. The question that haunts scientists and captures the imagination is, what if it erupted tomorrow? The potential impact is a subject of intense study and speculation. To understand the potential impact of a Yellowstone eruption, we need to look back at its history. Yellowstone is not just a serene national park, it sits atop one of the most powerful volcanic systems on Earth. This hidden giant has a violent past that has shaped the landscape in ways we are only beginning to understand. Yellowstone has experienced three super eruptions in the past 2.1 million years. These eruptions are among the most powerful volcanic events known to science, each one leaving a profound mark on the planet. These eruptions were not mere geological hiccups, they were cataclysmic events that reshaped the landscape and impacted the entire planet. The force of these eruptions was so immense that they altered weather patterns and caused mass extinctions. The first eruption, 2.1 million years ago, was the largest spewing out over 500 cubic miles of volcanic material. This eruption created a massive caldera, a depression in the Earth's surface, which is still visible today. To put that in perspective, imagine a mountain range instantly vaporized and launched into the atmosphere. The sheer volume of material ejected was enough to blanket large parts of North America in ash. The second eruption, 1.3 million years ago, was smaller but still powerful enough to leave a lasting mark. It released enough volcanic material to fill the Grand Canyon several times over. The most recent super eruption, 630,000 years ago, formed the Yellowstone caldera we see today. This caldera is a reminder of the immense power lying beneath the park's surface. These eruptions were separated by hundreds of thousands of years suggesting that Yellowstone operates on a geological timescale far beyond human comprehension. If Yellowstone were to erupt tomorrow, the immediate effects would be catastrophic. The eruption would begin with a massive explosion, sending a towering column of ash and gas high into the atmosphere. This ash cloud would spread rapidly, carried by winds across the United States and beyond. The ash would pose a serious threat to human health, causing respiratory problems and contaminating water supplies. Lava flows would erupt from the caldera, incinerating everything in their path. But the most devastating effect would be the pyroclastic flows. Pyroclastic flows are fast-moving currents of superheated gas and volcanic debris that can travel at hundreds of miles per hour. These flows would incinerate everything in their path, leaving behind a trail of destruction for hundreds of miles around the volcano. Section 4. A Global Winter Climate Change After Yellowstone the immediate effects of a Yellowstone eruption would be devastating, but the long-term consequences would be even more far-reaching. The massive amount of ash and sulfur dioxide injected into the atmosphere would have a profound impact on the global climate. Sulfur dioxide in particular forms sulfate aerosols in the stratosphere. These aerosols reflect sunlight back into space, causing a cooling effect on the Earth's surface. This phenomenon is known as a volcanic winter. The eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815, a relatively small eruption compared to Yellowstone, caused the year without a summer. Global temperatures dropped, leading to widespread crop failures and famine. A Yellowstone eruption would be far larger than Tambora, potentially causing a volcanic winter that could last for years. ...and ecological models to understand the potential consequences. Historical data from previous eruptions, like Mount St. Helens, provide valuable insights into the aftermath of such cataclysmic events. The immediate blast zone would be obliterated, leaving behind a barren wasteland. 
This area would be devoid of life, a stark reminder of nature's raw power. The ashfall would blanket vast areas, suffocating plants and animals. This thick layer of ash would disrupt ecosystems, making survival incredibly challenging for existing flora and fauna. Water sources would be contaminated, making it difficult for life to recover. Rivers and lakes would be choked with ash, leading to a scarcity of clean water. However, life is resilient. Over time, plants and animals would begin to recolonize the affected areas. The first signs of life would be hardy species capable of surviving in harsh conditions. The volcanic ash, while initially destructive, would eventually break down, enriching the soil. This enriched soil would provide a fertile ground for new plant growth, setting the stage for ecological recovery. New ecosystems would emerge, shaped by the forces of nature and the survivors of the catastrophe. These new ecosystems would be different from what existed before, showcasing nature's adaptability. The process of recovery would be slow, perhaps taking thousands of years, but life would eventually find a way. This slow but steady resurgence of life highlights the incredible resilience of nature in the face of adversity. Section 6. Sentinels of the Supervolcano Monitoring Yellowstone the possibility of a Yellowstone eruption is a sobering reminder of the powerful forces that shape our planet. However, it's important to remember that such an event is not imminent. Scientists constantly monitor Yellowstone for any signs of increased activity. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, or YVO, is a collaboration of scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey, the University of Utah, and Yellowstone National Park. They use a variety of instruments to track the volcano's every move. Seismometers detect earthquakes, which can be a sign of magma moving beneath the surface. GPS stations measure ground deformation, indicating pressure changes within the volcano. Gas sensors track the release of volcanic gases, such as sulfur dioxide. Section 7. Conclusion. Living with the giant. The Yellowstone supervolcano is a stark reminder of the awesome power of nature. While the possibility of an eruption is a real threat, it's not a reason to live in fear. Scientists are constantly monitoring the volcano, and we are fortunate to have advanced warning systems in place. The best way to prepare for a potential eruption is to stay informed and follow the guidance of experts. Understand the risks, have a plan in place, and be prepared to act if necessary. In the meantime, let us marvel at the beauty of Yellowstone, knowing that beneath its serene exterior lies a giant that reminds us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet.